And now, the best 60-ish seconds of your week. It's Independence Weekend, and I'm standing here in my office next to a newspaper from July 3rd, a couple of years ago, July 3rd, 1776, to be precise. Now, for those students of history, they know that July 3rd was between the two dates that Americans thought we would be celebrating American independence on. July the 2nd, the day that the Continental Congress actually dissolved our bonds with Great Britain, passing Richard Henry Lee's resolution that said, these United Colonies are, and of right ought to be, free and independent states. But of course, July 4th was the day on which they actually adopted the Declaration of Independence, memorialized by John Trumbull's famous painting, which shows Thomas Jefferson with his foot on top of John Adams. We'll come back to that in a minute. It was Adams who told us that July 2nd would be the day on which we celebrated American independence, and he told us to do it with all the things that we do, parades and bonfires and picnics and fireworks and celebrations of all sort, because American independence is truly something to celebrate. John Adams died 50 years to the day after the passage of the Declaration of Independence. On that same day, Thomas Jefferson, whose foot is on top of his, did as well. Now, Adams and Jefferson had an amazing history. They had been compatriots in the fight for American independence. They became bitter political rivals. And then, as so many do, they patched up their relationship later in life. But as John Adams lay dying, his final words were, Thomas Jefferson still survives. But he was wrong. In those days, without the communications we have today, he wasn't aware that Thomas Jefferson had passed away five hours earlier the same day. July the 4th also was the passing of another president and one of our founders, James Monroe. It's really amazing how the irony of history works that way because it was all through the birthday of Calvin Coolidge, who went on to become the president of the United States. As we look to July the 4th and our true Independence Day, let us all celebrate America and the greatness that it is. Let us not ever take for granted the freedoms that we enjoy and always remember that freedom isn't free. And as we celebrate with family and friends in every manner possible, take just a moment, take a look at the Declaration, see what it said, and see how important those words that all men or people are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. Because it was the first time in the history of humanity that a nation had said, our rights come from God, not from some potentate on earth or some sovereign power here, but from the Almighty. And those rights are to be protected by government. Those concepts, unfortunately, get lost from time to time today, but they are what's worth fighting for. They are what made America the greatest nation in the history of the world, and they are well worth celebrating on July the 2nd, July the 3rd, July the 4th, and this year, even on July the 5th. And something else worth celebrating this week, the Supreme Court of the United States gave a big boost to ballot integrity, upholding the Arizona statute on ballot harvesting, a ban on ballot harvesting, and also a requirement that people vote in the district in which they live. It was a six to three opinion. It should have been nine to zero, but unfortunately, there were still three recalcitrant Democrats on that court who voted against the ruling. But it's an important one for a variety of reasons. The obvious that it upholds statutes on election integrity, and I think it puts the death knell to the case against the Georgia laws, which were just passed. That's good news for elections in the future. And finally, this week we could be talking about Bill Cosby or Britney Spears, but we're not going to. I'm thinking more about the NCAA ruling which says that its athletes can now profit off of their own names and thinking about what it would have been like if those rules had been in place back when I was playing ball. I could have profited off my own name. I wouldn't have to finance a campaign for governor these days. Anyway, on a serious note, enjoy Independence Weekend, celebrate American independence, celebrate the greatness of this country. God bless us all, because for now, that is the best 60-ish seconds of your week.